The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, Just Boys with Sonny Wells? I love that song. You're beautiful. It makes me think they're talking about me. Ha! But uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, in studio tonight, Mr. Mr. Pierre. Uh, I don't know if Chris is going to chime in. He might a little bit. He did one show. He did pretty good, too, as a matter of fact. That's true. But, uh, Top of the show today, we have some clips, uh, one in particular, um, you know, we got the playoffs going on in the NBA, and uh, it's been some really exciting basketball. I haven't really seen this much excitement in a lot of years, you know, we're, we're down to the Eastern and the Western Conference Finals, right. but even before that, you know, these games were like to the wire, right? last second shots. Uh-huh. Oh, I must say... Uh, I'm now assistant coach over at Trade Tech, and we won last week on a last-second shot <laughs> to beat the defending league champions. There you go. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We was we was running around in there like it was a championship. <laughs> oh, it was fun. It was yeah, fun. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, then, real quick, my wife wanted me to show this. This is um, something we'll be doing on my birthday, July 11th. I'm uh, not sure what the format's going to be, but uh, she wanted me to make sure I show this. And if I don't show it, she, you know, I got to hear her mouth. And I'm not trying to hear her mouth. <laughs> uh, it should be a good event, L.A. Trade Tech, uh, on my birthday, July 11th. Uh, we'll have uh, some food and a lot of stuff for the kids. It's a little basketball tournament that she's always wanted to do. So uh, we hooked it up and got the dates and everything. Uh, we had said that we wanted to go right into, um, after we found out what picks the Lakers got, and that was going to be something you wanted to expound upon, sure, the historian. True, sure, sure, right, right. So, what you got for me, Pierre? All right, well, first of all, shout out to Sun Lady. Sun Lady! Sun Lady, definitely shout out to her, and of course, definitely miss you in studio, Smitty. Uh, yes, yeah, Smitty and that. Dewan, right, right, mm-hmm. and all you other Don people Rambo, that right, uh, exactly. are invited that don't come. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, uh, the, the Lakers, um, the 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 lottery, the draft lottery was held uh, this this week, and um, the Lakers were fortunate enough to, to to get number two, the number two pick in the draft. I think that's uh, excellent for the Lakers. They, like I said, were very fortunate to get the number two pick. Now that might hold a lot, of, a lot of goodwill to their fortune, depending on who they draft, depending on how they go about managing the, the new talent that they have coming in, meaning that they have the number two pick, probably going to, you know, either, either you know, the guy from Kentucky or the other one from uh, from Duke, Oak from Duke. E- I like that boy one. from Duke. Right. He's right. solid. Minnesota's number one. Minnesota got the number one pick. But with the Lakers, it, it's, not, it's not just going to be, that's the draft pick. I mean, they're going to have to transform, in my opinion, that entire team. I mean, I'll start out with firing Mitch Kupchak, firing Byron Scott. Why well, he won't fire Byron Scott? <laughs> he ain't been there long enough to do anything. Well, you know what? With just all this new talent, the Lakers are probably um, probably makes coming in. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if they're going to keep anyone, um, offer anyone. You know, who's on the team now? Any any serious? Uh, Let's say uh, uh, serious security, meaning that you know, give them a long-term contract or whatnot. They'll probably go out and see if they can get a couple of nice free agents, especially knowing that Kobe Bryant. From what we hear, rumor has it that this is going to be Kobe Bryant's last season. Oh, so, oh and, and with that, let's play that clip. I, I can't see him actually going anywhere else. First of all, right, and I don't know if it's going to be his last because. If he comes back and he does decent, Let's just say if he, he gets to sign again. Right. Well, if he's averaging 20-something points a game. He's going to sign again. Back. But do the Lakers even want his 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 or his presence? Well, let's look at the clip and see what they talk about and come back to that. Sure. 
So idling on the bench for most of what turned out to be the Los Angeles Lakers' worst season ever apparently hasn't made Kobe Bryant want to push himself even harder. The NBA star himself has not yet set a formal timeline for his retirement. But Lakers general manager Mitch Kupchak has now said twice in the last six months that Bryant will likely pack it in after the 2015-2016 season. During an interview on Sirius XM NBA radio, Kupchak said he has indicated to me that this is it. I think first and foremost, he's in the last year of a deal. There have been no discussions about anything going forward, and I don't think there will be. Now, you know what I got out of that. That's leading. Mm-hmm. All of that's leading. Okay. You know, saying that uh, there will likely be no... He didn't say that. You didn't give a quote or, a, you know, end quote or anything like that, a beginning quote. They're leading him into that. Um, and once again, like be, uh, before I said uh, when we played the clip, I don't think that if he comes back with some decent numbers, right. he's going to want to quit. Well, now, how many, how many athletes actually want to quit? And actually leave on their own terms. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm talking about where they're in a position where they can actually, they still have enough left in the tank where the team that, that they're playing for still wants to keep them around and don't give them like, uh, like, like the, the, the minimum contract for the veteran of, of their tenure. Like, for example, the way Allen Iverson, the way the Memphis Grizzlies, they told Allen Iverson they wanted him, they wanted him on the team. They're going to give him basically. He was going to go from in the high teens, let's say 18, 19 million, whatever his contract was previously, all the way down to the veterans minimum. Uh, but they still want him to play, and they want him to come off the bench. Allen Iverson refused to do that. You know, you say you saw a piece on that. We could talk about that at another time. But if Kobe, listen, assuming Kobe Bryant <laughs> scores, let's say, 20 some points a game, he looks at these, and it looks like he has more left in the tank, considering he's probably sat out for the last three seasons due to. You know, you know, made major injuries. You know, so would 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 you actually resign him? And if so, what about the team chemistry? And what would you resign him at? I mean, he's gonna have to take a huge pay cut. Would he be willing to do that? You know what I mean? I mean, he'd have to go from probably what twenty eight, twenty seven million to to down to maybe five million. I mean, would Kobe be willing to do that? I don't know. I when Kobe first came into the league, uh-huh. he played at the summer pro league. At right. the pyramid, Long right. Beach Pyramid. That's right. And so I announced most of the, well, all the games. Right. And he's always worked hard. He's always looked decent. No question. Now it's a matter of I'm old. Right. Am I going to still look decent? Mm-hmm. You know, what's going to happen this year? Mm-hmm. Is he going to have to go back to the summer pro league, play a little bit there? Oh, I could, I could. Yeah, and yeah, I, I, I was just yeah, thinking about I that. Could, I, could, I just a, a professional like that yeah. coming back, but I don't know if he has any other choice. No, you know what he did do? He did go down to the Drew. Okay. He likes the Drew. I see. And I could see him instead of going to the summer pro league. I could see him going to the Drew. Now that right. I'm thinking about it. Right. Getting on yeah. a team there, uh-huh. playing a little bit to see where he's at. Where he's at, huh? Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, that comes up uh, in July. Uh, the Drew is allowed to have the NBA players in there. Yeah. So we can look for him uh, down at the Drew. Now, you know, now LeBron played on, down there, too. Right. Uh, based on his contract now, especially with all the injuries he, he's made over the last few years, I don't know if contractually he'd be able to do that. If he could, though, I could possibly see him. See him doing that. However, I'm coming from the angle and the opinion that look, the Lakers would be better off without Kobe Bryant. He has a dubious distinction. I don't care what anyone says. You can debate his stats from now. The Stephen A. Smith, the Skip Bayless, to, to Jim Rome, to, you know, whoever, whoever, you know, uh, anyone else out there. We can debate to the cows come home about the marriage of Kobe Bryant. But you can't d- dispute the fact that. He has a dubious distinction of missing more shots than anyone in NBA history. Do you know? Do you know how many games the Lakers have lost behind that? that the team chemistry, the whole aura of the of the organization. You have you have you have you have franchise players out there 
who won't even consider the Lakers as long as Kobe Bryant's on the team. Well, that's, that's the reason why it's, it's, it's imperative that the Lakers are trying to inch him out the door to say, hey, you know what? This is going to be his life. Free agents out there. L.A. is an open market. This is some place you'd want to come to. Kobe Bryant's not going to be here after next year. Listen to what we're saying. You know, this and that's is, why I said that the, those comments on the clip were leading to like, <laughs> hey, okay, you know what? Kobe not going to be here. Next year, right. Think we, about coming over here with us. <laughs> right. Big money markets need to win. I think you so. Know, the, the New Yorks, the Bostons, right. the Atlantas, you yeah. know, they Chicago's, they need to win. That's for the life of the league. So I'm saying this. It's it's I, I, I like Kobe Bryant, right. first of all. Right. It's so touchy at this point in time in his career. Uh. He has to come and he has to play in one of those leagues. He doesn't have a choice because his body He's strong, and he has a great work ethic. He has a great work ethic. But can he perform? Can his body hold up and perform on the court? He has to see that, and he has to have confidence in that, right. especially with his injuries, right. which were you know, career-threatening. Well, 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 certainly, especially, you know, you're looking at the tail end of his career. I mean, he, he knows that his you know, father time's catching up with him in, in a hurry. He knows he can't even do close to the things he's doing in the past. I mean, he's such a liability on defense. I mean, I don't even want to go in, into that, you know. I mean, it looks like he's lost any type of shooting touch he, he had initially. You know, you're talking about in terms of chem, chem, chemistry, leadership ability. I just think it's best for the Lakers to part ways with Kobe Bryant. The sooner, the better. Well, and you know, then you can go another direction he, and then start the rebuilding process. I, I agree, but he still has that contract, and he's got to right. play that last year. Now, uh, and once again, we're talking about him being able to come in, mm -hmm. go over to the Drew or right. the Summer League, whichever one he's going to pick, I don't know, right. and play and not, first of all, disrupt that team. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. remember, we're still talking about Kobe Bryant. Right. Whether it's the Lakers or another team, uh -huh. he's still going to have his persona. Do you do you do you do you think it's possible? Well, it's possible, but do you think it's 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 a likelihood that if Kobe finishes out the season with the Lakers, have a decent season, but possibly resign with another team in the NBA besides? You see who's I mean? gonna Who's gonna want a Kobe Bryant? He can't go back to Philly. They boo him there, right? But but Philadelphia has a number three pick. I mean, it looks like they're certainly. Well, we've been saying it about Philly for years, so <laughs> you know, just have to wait could, and see hey, what happens. Could you see him going up north? Uh, I can see him going. To, <laughs> you hold on, I, I can see him going to New York. I can see him going to New York. I can see him. Yeah, going yeah, to New yeah, York. yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, I can see him going to New York. That's right. the only place I can see him going. But that's that, that's actually a large enough stage that can handle a Kobe Bryant. You know his his image, his or his persona. I mean his 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 brand. Yeah. New York New York can handle it. You know, and New York probably desperately needed to. I mean, it would be an upgrade. How horrible the Knicks have been. And matter of fact, they got the number four pick in the, in, in, in the draft, and that's really not going to do them all that much. You no, know, depending you know, on who they. You know, you get those draft. Uh, picks right. and you use them for for bait for other people. Right. Okay. So you talking about in terms of trade yeah. trade value? So that's that's what you do. Right. Uh, but right. man, I just don't see. I just don't see Kobe. He's got to go through the summer, uh, and he's got he has to do something. Right. He has to. His body is old. If he cannot hold up with those younger guys down there at the right. Drew, uh, he may as well not come back. Well, you know, he's he's such a lightning rod, man. I mean, you you could talk to people around the country and around the world. I mean, you have you have so many people who who revere Kobe Bryant. I mean, give him passes on almost everything. He can do no wrong in their eyes. And there's other people who who don't have those blinders on that can clearly see the liability he's been for the Lakers for the last several years. And actually, I go even farther than that. I mean, when you see everything he's brought to the table, there's so much he's taken away from that organization. That organization's been hindered. And crab by Kobe Bryant. Five for rings. The last, yeah, but five, five rings. rings. Despite, yeah, yeah, but despite uh, Kobe Bryant, they, 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 were, they were talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the uh, our engineer, Mr. Chris, chiming in. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, story but five talking rings. about the five rings. Yeah, but Steve Kerr has five rings too. I, I, I mean, you know, not to say he wasn't 
you know, an important part, but he wasn't the integral part of those five championship rings that, you know, that he won. I mean, was it? You, well, you have it's like saying like, Jordan had nothing to do with his six rings. No, 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 no. Part no. of a Jordan, good team. You know, Jordan had everything to do with those six, six rings. I mean, if it okay. for Jordan, you know what, gentlemen? Had... We're going to take a break, and we're going to pick this right up when we come back. Okay. Uh, Just Sports with Sonny Wells. Uh, shout out to Pitbull. Here we go. Are you a diabetic? Need some energy? Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Need to quench your thirst? Try Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, the only energy drink named suitable for diabetics by the American Diabetic Association. And it's now now available with no calories, no carbs, no sugar, and no fat, and a smooth, natural blend of energy, vitamins, and minerals. Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink is the healthiest, best taste energy drink around. For more information and online ordering with free shipping, please visit hiphopbev.com. Remember, Pitbull Sugar-Free Energy Drink, suitable for diabetics, great for everyone. What's your style? Curly? Straight? Wavy? Or maybe you like it natural? Introducing Secret Styling Hair Care Products by Smith Products Company, LLC. A complete line of hair moisturizers, shampoos, conditioners, and an assortment of other hair styling aids formulated for today's fashion-conscious consumer. Enhance your style. Get the secret. And we're back to sports with Sonny Wells. Uh, before we left to go to the break, we were talking about uh, Mr. Kobe Bryant and uh, whether or not he's going to be coming back next year. And if so, some of the things that he has to do to be able to come back. And I mentioned that I think that with his injuries, mm-hmm. he's been off for a long time. Right. Uh, I don't know where he's been playing, if he's been playing. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's been playing with the Lakers. I- I'm sure he's been playing, but it's not like the intensity of uh, let's say, let's say the Drew League or the Summer Pro League. Fair enough. He has to be able to come back in those situa- situations, like I said before, right. and be comfortable and go hard mm-hmm. and be dominant Right. to feel like, hey, I'm coming back to the NBA. Right. Now, the Lakers are going to be in, 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 in a, definitely in flux in terms of transition where it's not even about Kobe Bryant anymore. They're definitely leaving, getting out of that face. So he would have to be in my opinion, uh, a, a complementary piece as opposed to the, as opposed to the integral, as opposed to the focal point of the team. You have you, you get the number two pick in the draft, and of course with Randall coming back. You know you're looking at the fact that they're probably going to focus in on a low post game as opposed to a perimeter perimeter type of uh, offense. Now inside out, right? Exactly, right, right. That's where they're going to start. Now that's mm-hmm. what I say is is that we know you can't get rid of Bus. But you can certainly get rid of Cupcheck and Scott. And I'm telling you, that, 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 that leadership right there, those key decisions. you got to give Scott you know, a chance. It's I, I one year. Scott. That's enough. He should no, have had the job. He shouldn't have the job in the first place. No! <laughs> job in the okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's, since, since you said that, right. what about mean, what about the Clippers? And, and let's talk about the Yeah, let's talk about, about the Clippers. Let's, let's, let's the Clippers right. got clipped. Oh, that huh? sure did. How did you come home? Right. Up by right. what was it twenty? Uh, yeah, on a closeout game and lose. Uh, oh you know, man! You know. And how about this? And, I, and I'm gonna make it even worse. Make it worse. You know, they just came out with the All NBA uh, teams uh, t- today. Mm-hmm. And the Clippers, out of the, like the first, second, and third team, the Clippers had three players on it. Might have been the most of any team, I think, probably in the league. Three players on. on uh, we had one on the second team. And then Chris Paul, uh, and then uh, two on the third team. But my point is, out of those 15 players, the Clippers had three of them. So that's telling you right there that the, the expectations were extremely high for the Clippers to at least make it past the second round, which they've never done in the history of the organization. And you're up 3 1, and you're at home, and then let that game slip away like that and for game six. Game, game five, and then game six was definitely should have been a closeout game. And, and, and there's no excuses for that. I mean, Doc Rivers is the GM as well, so he's definitely the one 
putting in the, putting in the pieces of the puzzle in terms of player, you know, uh, uh, player or oh, over personnel, player uh, personnel. So you look at the fact that it's not, you know, he's his own boss in that respect. So it's not like he had to uh, really, you know, answer to anyone in terms of his roster. So that, and then of course, you know, a lot of the a lot of the coaching decisions he was making uh, was definitely definitely questionable. The players basically ran out of gas. And then Chris Paul, he, even though he had a decent game, uh, he had some decent game, but still, uh, not, you know, you I, I, I'm, just, I'm just not a Chris Paul fan. I'm just not, man. Yeah, you, you miss Baron Davis? Uh, let's put it like this. Baron Davis, with all, ex- excluding all them back operations, uh, I would take him over Chris Paul. I mean, what, what has Chris, no. what, what Chris Paul done? His job? I mean, second round, second round, second round. With, 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 uh, now, maybe he didn't have the... The roster in, in New Orleans, but certainly with the Clippers, he's had enough key key uh, components to actually get past the second round, especially this year. Yeah, Go ahead. he uh, he actually uh, statistically zero uh-huh. and uh, three in those game seven situations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you really couldn't expect him to pull it out because uh, he's had uh, okay, he's one and three. All right, uh-huh. and I just don't understand it. You're at home. Right. You're about to make history. Right. For the franchise. Uh huh. And you've, you know, it's not like he just got there, like Byron Scott's situation. No, no right, right, right. He's right, been right, there. Right, right. He's got the horses. Right. He's up 20. Mm hmm. How do you not, first of all, protect that lead? Right. I don't care if you bring in bench players and foul. Right. Right. You know, Absolutely. you protect that lead at all costs. Yeah. Because you're making history well, they and you're moving that. on. You're moving the franchise on to the next level. Absolutely right. Because remember, they definitely could have played a hacker Howard the same way. They could hack anybody. Yeah, hack a Jordan. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Right. Anything. Because right. all is fair in love and war. Right. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I hear you. When you get out there and you have a must situation, uh-huh. you take advantage of it as best you can. Do you keep, do, do you keep Doc Rivers... As your general manager and head coach moving forward, yeah, you I mean, you know, one or the other, or you think he's it's, he's it's, got to he's got to be able to close that out. He's got to be able to talk to those men, right. motivate them uh-huh. to go out there and close this out. Get I don't the care job if, done. Yeah, I don't care if he has to use people him. on the bench. You fire him as your GM. He brought in Turkaloo. Uh, actually, he did. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. Danny yeah, Ainge. Sir. Danny Ainge did all the GM in Boston when he won that championship. Uh huh. I, I, he brought in, he I brought think in his son. A... He's bringing money into the family. <laughs> he fired him as GM. Well, yeah. Okay, that's 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 an option. But yeah, that is an option, huh? When when it comes down to the game, mm-hmm. you have to be able to motivate your ball players to go out there and do whatever it takes to get the job done to win the game. That's right. No, no. I, no you I, give I, them a plan. Yeah. Or I, give them a couple of things to follow. Right. And then they got to pick and choose or make a combination of either one. No question. And that's what he didn't do. Do. Right. Now, some of the veteran players, they can do that. Mm-hmm. But I don't, none of them have been there the way he has, so he was the person that was supposed to do it, and he didn't do it. Right. So let's, let's uh, oh, go ahead. One more thing. Yeah, Chris Paul's 30 years old now. I think that he's definitely at his peak, or I think he's a little bit past his prime. You know, so yeah, especially as a point guard. These young boy guards running around there now. I, I think the Clippers, if they can get rid of him, if the Lakers, if the Lakers, if you still want Chris Paul, you can have him. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can have him at this stage of the game. Because, but the Lakers, I mean, the Clippers are locked in with their the salary constraints. You know, constraints is that you know how, how many how many you know roster moves they can actually make. Yeah, They're probably that's, looking at the same team. That's that's this true. Year, you know. Uh, okay, moving right along. Let's mm-hmm. let's talk about some. We need to talk about uh, the current NBA stuff, but we all know what's happening there, and it's it's been great. It's looking good, but uh, for the last few minutes, let's talk about that boxing. That's sure they're they're, they're trying to they try to use uh, the injury. The, no, no, not oh, the injury. Oh, oh, oh. The last that last fight uh-huh. as a way to bolster boxing. Right. And they didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They no, slapped us in the face. Yeah, well, you know, actually, but 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 in, in contrast to that, Sonny, I have seen a, more boxing uh, on TV. Certainly, uh, they definitely seem like they're advertising it more than I've seen like before, before the big fight between Pacquiao and Mayweather. You know, I mean, I, they had boxing to form. Just recently. That was a good so, fight. Yeah, that was a good fight. I NBC, watched that. NBC, NBC is talking about Showtime is you know offering you know more than they. Having in, in the past, you definitely have a lot of the, 
uh, top boxers in the past coming out, you know, doing doing commentary for that. Uh, like George, Clo- uh, uh, Jerry Clooney, Jerry Clooney, you remember the one who fought uh, yeah. Larry Holmes, of course, and then, uh, you know, uh, Vander Holyfield's, you know, rearing his head up now, and I- hopefully he'll retire. We had, we, had a, <laughs> we had a discussion in the barbershop. Hopefully he won't retire, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had a discussion you know, in the barbershop and, today. And, and, and then, and then he, he, even even uh, Bernard Hopkins, I mean, uh, what do you think about him? You know, I mean, should he hang him up? But he's still doing well at his advanced age, you know, so... Yeah. Uh, Anyone that's doing well, bring them back. But we had a uh, discussion in the barbershop today. Uh-huh. My question was, who does the winner of that last fight? They First of all, they were talking about, oh, an injured shoulder, uh-huh. maybe a rematch. Right, so right. It's, two, it's a two-fold question. Uh-huh. Would you watch another Floyd Mayweather-Pacquiao fight, number one? Uh-huh. Number two... Would you watch another Floyd Mayweather fight? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the answer uh, to two part question is: uh, I have to. I have to admit it because that's the only. That's the only thing out there in the boxing world, in my opinion. To answer your question, yes and yes. Yes, I would watch a rematch, and yes, I'd watch another Mayweather fight. I mean, I mean, because Mayweather's undefeated. To see if he finally he's he's gonna lose. Uh, number one, number two. I mean, he can fight anyone else out there, but it's still no matter what people are saying right now. If it was two weeks before the fight, you'd be surprised at how many people would really actually be in favor of that rematch. You know, you know, you have Pacquiao that just actually he has people all around the world. I mean, he. He's, I mean, even even though he lost the fight, and we know it, and certainly a lot of people thought he didn't can give his best effort, he's still widely, you know, regarded as as as, uh, as someone who's who's very much revered around the world, you know. So he has he has a huge huge following, you know. So it's like that's Pacquiao, exactly. So if he's fighting, yeah, I, th- Mayweather, I think he does. Either, but right, we're, but we're if, talking if he's fighting against Mayweather again. Then you're definitely going to see people who want to see Mayweather lose. So you might find just as many people want to see Pacquiao win as want to see Mayweather lose. I know what you're saying now, but if it was two weeks before the fight, and a bunch of rhetoric going back and forth, and the injury this, and he fought a one arm man, and this, that, and the other, and you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, blah 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 blah. You know, man, you're not gonna get yeah. me twice on that. They might not no get you. They might not get you, but there's a lot of people who would say, you know uh, what? He fought like an injured man. Let's see the real Pacquiao out there. Well, no, I don't <laughs> think he fought like an injured man. Oh, I'm with you. I he, think I, Floyd I, I don't Mayweather. Think I think he whipped him, no question. Because of his work ethic. Right. And the way he trains. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that Pacquiao doesn't have that. But, you know, this guy, two a days, seven miles each time. No, He's no, no, in no, 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 stupid no, shape. There's no question Mayweather beat him fair and square. I mean, there's no there's no issue in, in my mind about that in the most. But to answer your question about whether your people would actually pay for, uh, you know, a rematch and whether I would watch it, you have to say, yeah. I'm not watching none of that mess. I ain't watching <laughs> it. I'm not gonna watch it. You know, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he could Pacquiao couldn't do nothing with the boy. Yeah, couldn't he, come couldn't he, he get up against the rope, rope a dope team? Like, come on, dude. Yeah. You know. If, if that's probably where he hurt his shoulder at, trying to <laughs> trying to beat him on the rope. He, he hurt his shoulder during the fight. Yeah, not before the fight. No, not before the fight. It was during the fight. <laughs> He's trying to swing and and, and it gave out on him. Oh, that's okay. what happened. But uh, I I would not watch another Floyd Mayweather fight. Well, another thing I will say about you know boxers in general, I, very few boxers actually go into their fights completely healthy. I mean, there's generally something wrong with everyone. You know, I mean, if not your wrist. Or, a hand or a finger or shoulder or, or someone's always, you know, always going into a 100% healthy. You know what I mean? So I didn't so, know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's definitely no, definitely no excuse. No excuse. Oh, and also I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks in, in the hockey world. Uh, they're uh, basically in the hockey's final four, uh, the Western Conference Finals, and they're actually trying to bring home the cup. You know, the Kings are still the reigning champions right now, but, uh, you know, they, are, they didn't make the playoffs, but the Mighty Ducks are looks like they might end up making it to the Stanley Cup. So I just wanted to throw a shout-out to that. And also, switching gears, tell the Dodgers to get their act together because the Dodgers have been laying an egg for the last 
last week. I so. heard Clippers. Yeah, last, last week. Oh, oh, another Clipper one. Yeah, but they're, they're, not- they're the Clippers of baseball. <laughs> <No>. Good. <laughs> Good regular season. <laughs> Choking the postseason. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's interesting. You want to chime in like that, there, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But you know the NBA has been uh, exciting. These uh, when the Western Conference Finals and the East, Eastern Conference Finals. I'm pretty sure uh, the powers that be wanted to be uh, LeBron and, and uh, Steph Curry in the mm-hmm. finals. Mm-hmm. You know that's the most exciting. Right. The and uh, it's, it's, it looks like it's going that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know Atlanta lost again tonight at their place. I know. Yeah, you know, get the yeah. broom out. Well, yeah, if they lose game three, probably, it's probably, over probably, with. Yeah, probably Stick a fork in the ass. They yeah. done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know? no, I, I will say that they, they are they, they are you know, Eastern Conference champions. I mean, I mean, well, regular season, they had the best record in the East. Yeah. Let's put it like that. And, and they still have some heart and, and fight left in them. They didn't look like it tonight. But, you know, it goes sure from game didn't. to game. They go from game to game. Maybe they can rekindle a lot of that fire, uh, you know, when they, when they play in Cleveland. You know, I'm hoping that they have a good, at least one good shooting night. Sure, yeah, see, they haven't. Because they, they didn't have a good yeah, shooting night that, tonight. Yeah. Part of it's due to Cleveland's defense, but part of it's due to the fact that Yeah, their defense cold. is, man, they got the yeah. best defense. Yeah, they play nice, but And they rotate well. They rotate well, but still, even having said that, you know, Atlanta's still a better shooting team that they've displayed yeah. over the last couple of games. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully they'll go ahead and uh, uh, turn things up. We want to see. You know, an exciting series, and the last couple of games for them have been kind of, you know, kind of, especially tonight's game. But that, but the Western Conference with the Warriors and Houston. I mean, Houston's played them pretty much neck and neck. Yeah. That he, although the Warriors have beaten them every game they played this season, but those last two games came literally right down. Yeah, this right game down three on yeah. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be huge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's really going to be huge. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can get out of here. Uh, okay. You got any more, Pierre? Uh, yeah, I have plenty more, but we don't have time for it. So we'll go ahead and let it roll on over to uh, next week. Next week, yeah. Okay, this has been uh, Just Sports with Sonny Wells and uh, uh, the historian, um, Brother Pierre, and the uh, person that's moving all the dials, Brother Chris, <laughs> chiming in. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next week on Just Sports with Sunny Wells. Big up to uh, Crystal Davis Wells, my wife, and Johnny Morris for letting us in here. We out. Curly, straight, wavy, or maybe you like it natural. Introducing Secret Styling Hair Care Products by Smith Products Company, LLC. A complete line of hair moisturizers, shampoos, conditioners, and an assortment of other hair styling aids formulated for today's fashion-conscious consumer. Enhance your style. Get the secret.